everyone welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a great day it's a rainy morning here so i figured let's get on and make something new so today we'll be making a wreath using a dollar tree stove cover as our sign and center focal point i thought this was so cute they come to in a pack um, I have chickens, so I thought this was super cute. And I'm going to use this as our sign. It comes with two, this bigger one and a smaller one, but I'm going to use this smaller one. So what we're going to be using is I have this green mesh here, and I have the red and kind of off-white checker. And I'm cutting them into 10 inch squares. We'll also be using some black tubing and some red tubing and I'll be making bundles and I'll be attaching them on the wreath. I've got one here that I did just to show you one already on the wreath. So I'll slide that aside and I'm using my easy bow to hold it because I can't find my little clip. And I'm gonna be alternating two green, one red and white, then two red and white and one green and so on. So we're just going to, like I said, they're 10 inch squares and it's 10 inch mesh. And we'll roll this like so. And it's just easier to hold them there. And like I said, I'm alternating. Okay, so when I get all three in here, I will pull them out and get a good grip. Only thing about this cloth kind of mesh is it definitely frays a little bit so then I think I'm gonna put this side down and I'm gonna try to turn all the open-ended edges to the back and that'll help with the fraying as well then we're just gonna hold it and I'm gonna do some loops Nothing measured, just, you know, however long you would prefer. And I made two loops of black. I'll cut that and then we'll do the same with the red. It's a little thick holding on to it, but I got pretty decent sized hands, so <laughs> it's not a problem for me. And then we'll clip that there, move these out of our way, and we will find a tie, and then add our little bundle right to one of our ties and give it two good twists. And there you have it. Like so. And these will fill in more as we go around. And let me clip this little stray. And what I might do is do four. I think I'll do four on each because then I think it'll fill it up better. I was gonna see if I could get away with three, but I don't think so. So what's nice about this, when you're making a wreath, you can always take something off, add something, take something away. I love that. So I'm just gonna lift and put this underneath. Yeah. And that'll be better to have four. 
my other tag off? Here it is. And we'll just, there we go. Yeah, that'll definitely fill it in better, guys. So, correction, we'll be using four. And what I've been trying to do, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I find that I have a lot of leftover stuff where I ordered bulk of this and bulk of that. And what I'm trying to do is use up what I have in my stash. So we're just going to add this one to here, same as before on the other one just lay that right in there and I just want to make sure I have enough to fill up the whole wreath so I'll show you one more oops I'm gonna need to cut a little more so I'm gonna move this out of my way I've got these two layered on my mesh roller Come up to 10 inches. Cut. I love the self healing mat, it makes things so much easier. All right, so let's do one more. So we're going to roll it. Hold it in here. We'll just alternate from the green to the red and white. And I'm about to start getting Christmas wreaths together because that tends to be my best time of the year as far as selling wreaths goes. I don't know about any of you, but Christmas always seems to be the good time for big sales. And again, we're just going to make two quick loops. done with the red and I gotta say out of all the wreaths I've made guys I've never made the same wreath twice <laughs> so everybody that has purchased a wreath, wreath from me has gotten a one-of-a-kind piece and we'll clip that clip that little fray And we'll find our next tie. And if you find that this is a lot for you to hold and put in the tie, you can always use a half a pipe cleaner and cinch it together there first and then lay it in there if that makes it easy for you. I just happen to have big enough hands. And there you go, you see how that's coming along. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it going and I'll be back when we've got a little bit more progress. Okay guys, so you see I've got the whole bottom row done and this particular wreath form had like gaps in between that I felt it wasn't full enough. So I took some white and off-white and made little bundles of that with no um, tubing. And I filled in the spots where I felt it was empty. And you can see I just took and used 
little half pipe cleaners and just added them to the sections that I felt needed to be filled in more. And again, that was me utilizing some unfinished <laughs> rolls of uh, mesh. I always keep this, the little bit of mesh on there because you never know when you can use it and it comes in handy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start the inside. So again, I'll show you. Simply rolling them up. And we're doing four, two. This is gonna be so cute when it's done. I'm not quite sure if I wanna add a bow to it. I don't always think a wreath needs a bow personally, but you let me know in the comments what you think because sometimes I think it's just too much in my opinion. And we'll go ahead and we'll add our tubing. And I'm just doing two quick loops of each. Then we'll add our black. I love this rooster. <laughs> I just thought it was super cute. <clears throat> and it was an inexpensive way to get a sign, being that I got it from Dollar Tree. And they're still covers. <laughs> so we'll go to our first top one. And we'll add it here, like so. A couple of good twists. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the inside. Okay guys, so we've got all our curls added and it is quite full. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So next, we're gonna add our little rooster. And I've got our little hole punch here, so I'm gonna add a couple of holes 
to the side. There we go. And I'll do the same over here. This is the most handy thing in the world. <laughs> and I got it on Amazon to make holes in your metal signs. And if you need the link, let me know in the comments and I will add it for you. So we'll give this a couple of twists here. And in case you notice, yes, I have on different pajamas because I got uh, interrupted yesterday. My granddaughter came over, so I stopped the video. But we're finishing up today. All right, so plant those to the back and move these out of the way. There we go. And we will flip this over. Make sure I got all my curls up. Try to carefully flip it because I want it to stay in that exact position. Once I get it on there, I'll deal with getting those other curls up top. Let me just twist this on here really good. And we'll do the same over here. Get, push all those curls up in front. And these two. And I'll readjust it in a minute. Oh my gosh, I think that just came off of there. It did. Well. Didn't come off, but it's not as tight as it needs to be. That's the problem. So we'll do this over here. And then we'll do this one. There we go. Wrap that around a couple times. Okay, guys, we got our sign attached, and our little rooster is finished. I love how it turned out. Please let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm not going to add a bow or any more ribbon to it, like I said. I like it the way it is, but you guys give me your opinions because I love to hear what you guys think as well. So we are done, and I will see you with my next project. And thank you for my new subscribers. If you guys could do me a favor and give me a little likey like and a share and make sure you turn on your notifications so you know the next time I post another video. And let me know if you guys would be interested in doing some live uh, wreath making so we can talk to each other while I'm creating something. Let me know in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.